Hi everyone, today we will learn about evolution of management accounting. Let me introduce our team members. Firstly, before we start, I would like to give the definition of management accounting as shown. To keep it simple, management accounting is a collection of financial and non-financial data used to analyze and evaluate the decision-making process. In this video, we will discuss the question as shown on the screen. Please get ready and don't go anywhere. Firstly, um, Fatin, can you tell us the first topic that we will discuss? Well, let us see the evolution of management accounting using IFAC model. Wow, so this must be the illustration showing the stages of the evolution. Hi guys, there are four stages in the management accounting evolution. First stage is the cost determination and financial control. Second stage is information for management. Then third stage is the reduction of waste of resources in business process. And lastly, stage four, creation of value through effective resources use. Stage one, mainly focus on cost determining and financial control of process. During this period, the production process is simple. So, the labor and material cost is easily identified. Hence, cost estimating is the suitable basis to control financial position. The factors influenced by weak competition in the market, low attention to quality and large scale of production. By 1965, the cost determination and financial control stage is no longer relevant. This is because the focus had been changed to the provision of information for management planning and control. In the evolution of management accounting, it is described by the International Federation of Accountants as a management activity but in a staff role. This is due to the increased global competition, oil price shock, and rapid technological development. For example, the use of robotic and computer control process has improved quality and reduced labor costs. Moreover, managers are able to access data for analysis and research. By 1995, management accounting are focused on creation of customer value, shareholder value, and organizational innovation through the users of effective resources. For example, the development of World Wide Web and advance in technology led to the appearance of e-commerce. Thus, it is led to the increase in challenge of global competitions. There are five factors that contribute to the evolution of management accounting practices. Firstly, organizational size. Secondly, competitive strategy. Third, advance in manufacturing technology. Firm structure. And last but not least, customers' demands. Firstly, organizational size. Globalization and competition has forced an organization to grow and improve unconditionally. Sacrificing long-term profit for the sake of short-term goals will only make more loss incurred. So, it is important to change the way the manager is thinking through the management accounting. Secondly, competitive strategy. To be successful with mushrooming of many companies in the same industry, it is important for them to compete and advance themselves. They must be able to accept changes and willing to be flexible to adapt with demands. The products in market then become very cheap and improve to suit everyone with shorter life cycles means the demand could be for temporary or for a short time. The one they're able to provide high quality products with low and affordable price will win the situation and keep their chances with Another factor of the evolution of management accounting is the advance in manufacturing technology. Companies nowadays use computer-aided manufacturing alongside with computer-aided design to create products. This evolvement results in the reduction in labor cost and manufacturing period. Structure, also known as organizational structure, is also one of the factors of evolution. For example, mergers and acquisitions, centralization, and corporate governance all have implications on the management accounting. The changes in these examples will also change the role of management accountants.
besides that, customer demand is also another factor of the evolution of management accounting. Companies used to apply the concept of cost-led pricing to value their products. Nowadays, companies value their products using the concept of price-led costing because of the change in customers' demands which not only consists of lower costs but also higher quality products. Next, we will move on to the relevance loss concept in strategic management accounting practices. What is relevance loss? Relevance loss is an overview of the evolution of management accounting using traditional methods which is no longer relevant as it was inaccurate. What are the examples of traditional strategic management accounting practices? The examples are LIFO which stands for last in first out, FIFO which stands for first in first out and budgeting. Why relevance loss concept occur? There are three reasons to the occurrence of the relevant loss concept. Firstly, the uses of traditional method provides inaccurate data and inefficient production process. This is because traditional method uses past data that no longer support modern day practices. Moreover, this was too late and distorted for being helpful in controlling production process. Lastly, the system failed to provide accurate product cost that is systematically biased and distort product cost. An excellent management accounting system provides timely and accurate information and help managers to reduce costs and enhance productivity. Second reason is because of the advancement in technology in modern business environment. Despite the major changes in the manufacturing technology, the information was found to be historical, less timely, and too aggregated. Most of traditional methods are not suitable for current business production process as they use all machines and all technological devices. Thirdly, traditional management accounting depends on data provided by the financial accounting. The information given by financial accounting system are inadequate in today's organization. Besides, the financial management often fails to recognize when the accounting numbers are no longer providing relevant or appropriate measures of operations. 